everybody. This is Ryan Lush, Chief Technology Officer at S2A Modular. I'm here to talk to you guys today about the green building holistic approach. We've had a lot of these modular minutes and uh, get into some stuff, but I don't really want to touch on that holistic approach to everybody so they really understand that, you know, the foundation is the energy, but there's a lot more to that. And when you're um, in the space we're at with what's called ESG, if you're not familiar with that, it's called, um, it stands for Environmental, Social, and Governance. And ESG is a real big booming thing. And uh, we're a leader in that right now. And I want to talk to you about that holistic approach. So when you're talking about a holistic approach, again, it's more than just the energy. The energy is the foundation. But we really look at the advanced enclosures and, um, you know, things like the windows and the doors and the insulations and all of those, because we can build in our factory at a millimeter cut tolerance. That gives us a lot stronger home, but it's also a more sound home and those advanced enclosures really keep the cold out and the heat in and the, or vice versa. But there's a lot of advantages in advanced enclosures also with, you know, sound, right? It's noisy if you live by an airport or a a train station, or you just have noisy neighbors or noisy people in the home. Big, big uh, sound difference there. You really um, have a nice noise reduction with that. And we also talk about in the holistic approach that the the air we breathe, the number one determinant in human health. We take a um, really good look at that, and we go under the hood and go next level to what is the best thing. Where we won't use a duct system because we're we need to achieve certifications like LEED, and they use a lot of energy. Um, the health and the wellness um, that we speak about with the well certification, we can have a better air quality when we're using different things like mini splits and ductless systems and really have a zone control so that you can keep one room at 90 degrees and another room at 60 if you want without expensive zoning equipment. These are HEPA filtered, very aesthetic, um, much better solution. Another thing we talk about is uh, and look at rather is, you know, things like water. How do we use water? Well, we have rain harvesting um, things that we can do and, you know, really take advantage of harvesting that rain and reusing that water instead of using it once and sending it out to the um, gutters, right? Why not reuse that? Treat it with a UV light. And um, when that UV light treats that, we can top off our pools with that. We can refill our toilets with that. We can water our yards and our gardens and um, really use that. And drinking water. We have devices that turn the humidity in the air into a high quality drinking water. Water is a big um, thing to consider when you're doing building and looking at that holistic approach and to achieve the ESG that we talk about. About because there's a drought, everybody. And, you know, there's Lake Mead, for instance, in, in the Western United States, that, that's responsible for 40 million people to provide water to. That's seven states and two countries, and it's at record lows. So looking at water is a very important piece. And it just keeps going. We look at our lighting, right? We use um, something called uh it's an innovative low voltage lighting and we don't use electrical wires for that. We're using like cat five, cat six cables, you know, the blue cable that's connected to your computer, those cables, because we can achieve things with that, um, that like eliminating EMF, the electromagnetic fields, we can do that. And we can bring the melatonins in when needed, keep them out, have a natural lighting. And if, again, it's a fraction of the electricity that you use um, to do that with those kind of devices. So those are real big things. And it really keeps going. We look at things like heated flooring solutions, where we bring graphene technologies into that. It uses the same electricity as an LED light bulb to heat your whole home but to keep those floors nice and heated as well. So um, that's that's a lot about the holistic view, right? And I'm just touched on a few, but as you can see, there's, there's a lot to look at and really to go to a second level in building and achieve ESG and keep our certifications and focused on net positive and net zero buildings and homes. So thanks for joining for the Modular Minute, everybody. Have a great day. Hi. Kat here, Director of Investor Relations at S2A Modular. Thanks so much for watching the Modular Minute. I wanted to invite you to our upcoming live webinar exclusively for investors. We get into the details of how we are building modular renewable energy, smart homes, and how you can become involved as an investor. Click the link below to register. See you there.